what's going on guys it's your boy serrano and today we're talking about the alcatel 3v after about two and a half months this thing has a really good experience when it comes to mobile devices with the price point that is actually really um attractive it comes in at 180 dollars but with the port over from metro by t-mobile you could actually get this thing for free when you switch your line over which is kind of sick this thing does have a 6.7 hd plus full view display along with stereo speakers one at the bottom and one right near the earpiece as well so it's going to amplify your music games and videos when you're listening to it without a headphone jack or bluetooth connected which is really cool because in uh, an outside environment or even in a loud environment you're still going to be able to hear that really um rich sound that's coming from the speakers which is definitely pretty cool um also this thing does have a plastic body which is actually scratch resistant i haven't had one scratch on this thing which is nuts and it has this really nice um you know like kind of coloring to it or texture at the back where it's not glossy it gives it more of a shimmer um effect on there which is like a, a really charcoal anthracite gray color at the back of there but honestly this thing is sick when you're watching media content on it um that screen is to be desired it has a perfect feel in the hand when even though it's a huge uh, phone you can actually manipulate it with one hand although you would have to reach your thumb across the screen whereas you could just activate the one-handed um operation feature by locating the home button and then swiping left toward either the most recent apps button or the back button to minimize the screen. Now I've been using this collider case, which is really sick. It has these bumpers across the edges, which is really good to protect it. And I definitely thought it was pretty cool. And it actually kept my Alcatel 3V safe from all scratches and stuff like that. Now, when it comes to light, um the the video quality in the nighttime it was really um happy birthday to sis right here but um the night quality footage was actually um really sick she was dressed like the black swan and i was able to get all the colors all the details of this shot inside of the um i think this was like a karaoke bar which was crazy um but um i was able to um get all the faces and all the details of people even in um you know like a, a harsh uh, environment where there's no light except for like you know strobe lights and stuff like that and even in low light where it's just street light shining it was it did pretty good as well and even in a really dim um table restaurant where you can see in the table the only light is above the food but other than that this thing actually did impress when it came to those rear facing shots on the 16 megapixel with a five megapixel paired along with it, which is kind of cool. This thing does also have um, uh, charging, which is actually, uh, it's not the fastest in the world, honestly. Y you know, it does take some time because that screen is huge and so is the battery as well, but you are getting a trace, light trace right here, which will, it'll give you some cool effects in the night or daytime. But honestly, the octa-core processor is gonna deliver a smooth, um, performance no matter what game you really throw at this thing you might get like a slight hiccup every so you know like half an hour or maybe even like you know like 15 minutes but i didn't really see like much um you know like issues with this thing i had no belly aches with it honestly my favorite things about this device was the fact that it still had a headphone jack too and you also did get a huge display with really good speakers and the camera on the back of it was actually really good in my opinion but um those are the some of the things that i liked about it you also do get um you know the ability to add your own launcher as you can see i did right here and still retain your um your your google feed on the on the left when you swipe and you also do get that metro play option is cool because you can like you, the phone gives you an offering offering you content from over like you know like 50 um popular channels and um it's right there on your home screen which is nuts 
um, so you're not you're not gonna be um, bored when you're using this thing this thing also does have Android 9.0 software with a processor that is uh, clocked in at 2.0 gigahertz octa-core uh, the weight on this thing is 6.98 and also um, it does have mobile hotspot technology as well you can see in the low light it was pretty good we are able to add a SD card up to uh, 32 gigabytes for extra storage um, I, I only have a 32 and a 64 and it, I, I tried my 32 and it worked perfectly fine I was able to capture some karaoke here with some co-workers and friends and it came out really good inside of the room we were in even though it was like almost pitch black inside that thing except for like the strobe lights but um in a really uh, even when the sun is bursting right into my camera lens I was still able to pick up some pretty good detail in broad daylight as well but um this thing is definitely going to be um offering you some good photo quality and even video quality so as you can see in this video the, f the cameras are really good um you can get a case from amazon for this thing or just go on metro by t-mobile and they have cases that they can offer you if you want to spend more money there but i would recommend men and getting it from amazon and when it came to the gaming performance and just overall uh usability of this thing i definitely can say that it was probably one of the smoother ex experiences i've ever seen thus far you get this pin button where you can remove your buttons at the bottom if you don't want to see them or you can have it slide up and down depending on when you're using it or not but honestly this thing definitely was built for power consumption it has a huge display which is good for taking in a lot of media content um it's also good for you know watching um netflix movies um also when you're looking through social media on your device such as instagram or facebook or even um, twitter it's gonna everything is gonna be really nice as well especially if you're like someone who likes to read ebooks this phone is definitely desirable for that because you're gonna be able to see all the pages and more words on each page versus for on a smaller screen when you're reading it on a um, little small smaller phone but you can see the, um, the feed when I was scrolling through the social media was desirable and um, you know honestly I could say that these cameras on the front facing camera we were still able to get some pretty decent shots um, the but it wasn't desirable in the, the nighttime but the rear camera was able to capture any moment in any environment from what I could see right here. So I was actually impressed with that um, ability that the camera did have to offer. Um, now we are getting um, a front facing camera too, which is not the best one I've ever used in the world to be honest, but it did the job too. Um, and um, honestly, I could say that I wasn't um, disappointed with the purchase in any way possible. This thing definitely held um, held me down and um, I can definitely say it's a really good phone too um, so honestly um, you know I was taking some as many different scenarios of light condition and um, just putting this thing through the paces and um, this thing does also come with an IR blaster remote for controlling like your TV and um, other um, app appliances in your house that um, use the um, infrared technology too, like VCRs and cable boxes and uh, stereo systems and stuff like that. Uh, it's not a gimmick. That feature does come in handy. I, I, my remotes need batteries, but my phone always has a battery in it. As long as the phone is charged, the remote will work, which is cool. Um, now, it doesn't have any built in like equalizers or anything like that, but you can download an app and get an equalizer, a bass boost, and you can kind of customize the um, level of uh, bass to your personal liking. Um, but, you know, I, I downloaded the Pixel Pack on here with another launcher to customize it a little bit more so you can get that option if you so desire. Um, you can move the apps to the SD card slot, which is kind of cool. So you get portable and adaptable storage too. Um, you could game on this thing pretty much any game I threw at it worked perfectly fine. I didn't have any issues with it. Um, it was just a smooth experience and um, honestly I wasn't uh, disappointed in any way possible either. Um, that screen was just um, like no other. The only thing I could think of that it's like is my Honor 
8x max which has a similar screen size of 7.12 inches but this one was um a little bit comparable it had no bezels which i kind of um it had well it had a little bit of bezel but it what didn't have a notch or like a dew dropper it was just pure um you know pure phone which i do like and it was just a really good experience but if you have the alcatel 3v let me know in the comment section and let me know when you purchase it also tell me where you're from but it's your boy serrano and i'm out hit the like button if you found it helpful but in the, have a great morning afternoon evening and depending on where you are later group peace